Um, well, the strategy basically was what you saw. Our uh, top two guys were planning on going out in the top 15, and then our pack was going to stay together somewhere in the top 20 to 25 through the first 2K. Um, that was the plan, and they, they executed it perfectly. Uh, we knew that our top two guys had to be somewhere in the top five, and we knew that our three, four, and five needed to be somewhere in the top 18. So that, that was a strategy for the first two loops. Just work your way up from there, uh, you know, top 15 for our top two, top 20 for our pack. And then on the second loop, put themselves in position um, to stay in the top five or six and put as many guys in the top 15 as possible. Yeah, well, you nailed it. I mean, the first 2K looked like it was very fast. And, then, you know, Justin Domain tried to go with the brothers. And I think he thought better of it you know, just after they went over that first split map. But you guys hung way back. You were about six or seven seconds behind Domain at 2K. You had a three-second spread at that point, an eight-second spread at 4K. Um, and then, you know, between 2 and 4K, you guys really moved up. You went from fourth to first. So it was very, in my opinion, a very smart, patient approach that really paid dividends. Uh, who would you say was the biggest surprise today? Um, I'd say our on our individual side, the biggest surprise would probably be... Uh, uh, George Hotelling, um, even though he wasn't freshman of the year, but he'd uh, been nursing a little bit of a, of an arch injury. So I'd say our freshmen probably, they handled this course way better than, um, than I anticipated they could. Both Oliver and George are true freshmen. They're roommates. Uh, they came in together, had fairly equal PRs coming out of high school, and they've just really bonded very well. Well, they're going to change a little bit right now because um, – you know, our goals were to be somewhere in the top 15 going into the regional, but now that I've seen guys, our top two guys could run sub-25 on a very tough course, I think they've got a really good shot of being somewhere in the top top 30 or 40 individually. And then, uh, you know, two of our guys, uh, our number six guy is more of a 10K guy anyway, so I think he's going to close the gap up. So if we're top 10, I'll be ecstatic. That's going to be a goal. Realistically, if we're top 15, I'll be... Uh, I'll be fairly, uh, fairly happy with that, but never really satisfied. I think one of the important things, you know, coming into this course was five years ago um, on this very course, we were winning with seven Ks to go, and UT Arlington did the same thing. They were patient. Uh, they worked their way up on the last lap, and uh, they were able to, to beat us over the last K. So that's been uh, the last five years we've been planning this out, and put together a team that could follow through with that plan. So that's, you know, been waiting five years for this one. <laughs> <laughs>